going to demonstrate mixing the polyurethane casting resin. Here we have part A and part B of the slow cure. It's the ECPU3691. We also have a fast version of this, uh, but just for this demonstration we're going to show you how to mix these two components together. The 3691A will be white in appearance and the 3691 will have a, a brownie amberish kind of colour to it. On the back of the tin it should tell you what the mixing ratio is. As you can see here it's a hundred parts of part A to a hundred parts of part B. <coughs> now check the technical data sheet on our website it should tell you whether that mixing ratio is by weight or by volume. That's quite important that one. So if you go to our website you'll find this product in resins casting, polyurethane casting resins. It's the ECPU3691 and on there you'll find the technical data sheet, the safety data sheets for part A and for B. So if we go to the technical data sheet and it will tell us again the mixing ratio by weight 100 of part A to 100 of part B. So it is important that we mix these by weight and not by volume because the difference in viscosity between the two liquids you could end up with an imbalance if you don't do it by weight. Pop your tub on, tear the scales to zero and we're going to get 100 parts of part A. Always mix it well in the tin first. in your storage tub. Oh, we've gone slightly over there so we've got to make sure that with part B it's going to be 114 grams as well. <coughs> Tear it again. Bring that to 114. Just under that should be okay. Give it a good mix together. and then pour that into your silicon mould If you go back to our data sheet, it tells you on there the pot life. That's the how long you should have when it's when you've mixed the two components together in your pot light in your pot. You've got eight to eleven minutes. The demold time, depending on temperature and how much the the mass of resin you've got, uh, indicates here a two hundred gram mass at a twenty mil thickness. You've got about two hours and on the 100 gram with a thickness of about 5 mil you've got 4 hours. Um, I usually find it's best to leave this a good 12 hours before demolding just to make sure it's got full hardness or if you're not in too much of a rush just leave it overnight. Okay this time we're going to add some colour. We're going to use a polyurethane pigment. Always make sure the pigment you get is polyurethane. Um, some people get a bit mixed up and they might get a polyester one instead but they don't work very well with polyurethane resins. Uh, we're going to use a grass green on this demonstration. You need to mix your pigment to part A. 
and the pigment mixture is between two and five percent now that's for the the overall combined volume of resin you're going to mix so we're going to get 100 parts of part a 100 parts of part b that's 200 grams so we're going to mix in four grams of the pigment Make sure that's thoroughly mixed in. If there's any bits of pigment that are not thoroughly mixed in, you're going to end up with soft spots in your final cast. Make sure you, when you're mixing it, you take everything off the sides, out the corners, and give it another good mix. Just repeat that a couple of times. As mentioned, we also do the fast cast version of this resin. It's the ECPU3652. That allows you to do multiple casts and demold with about sometimes five to 10 minutes. Um, so it's ideal if you're doing uh, quite a lot of production casts. Although it doesn't give you much pour in time, so it's not ideal for large items. Um, a lot of people ask us what the advantage is between polyurethane and polyester. And the main thing is its toughness. So here, just to demonstrate, we've got a sample piece of polyurethane. I'm just going to throw it down on the floor, just to show you how strong it is. As you can see, it's quite tough, unlike polyesters that would have shattered in a few pieces. Here. 